Kal Halayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Raka Kadash, Devil Honest to the Elders and the Apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us the truth, Shalom and salutations to the hope for the elect. The Akim out there spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth and sincerity and truth, presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures teach us to do. Alright? Shalom to the very, 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 very few sisters that do listen to us as well. This is the brother Yarmaya from the Great Millstone Chicago camp, basically coming to you with another lesson. All right, this lesson is concerning, you know, the truth, this thing of ours, <laughs> as the beloved elder, elder apostle Gabbai, um, you know, always states this thing of ours. All right, this La Costa Nostra. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's, it's a lot of things going on in Israel, man. You got these bootleg camps being praised. All right, you got uh. You know, and, and, and what that's going to cause is a, a gathering of the selection, as, as I call it, those, those two-thirds that out of the elect that's going to hear Israel and basically the Lord ushering them in just to push them out, all right? And then of the men of the fold, man, you got well, who are ultimately two-thirds too. You got men that's in this fold, man, that's just walking out, man. They're walking out as if it's Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai isn't real, if his judgment isn't real. If they never seen the miracles of the Lord, they never seen brothers get plagued by demons and destroyed. They never seen judgments. They never felt the spirit and power. Yahweh by shit me, how shot. They act like 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 just nothing's gonna happen. They just walk out of this truth, man. Off in the la la land, man. You know. You got brothers just walking away, man. Dropping the plow, man. Like ain't shit gonna happen, man. But nevertheless, you know, you, you, you got to marvel not because this is your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah doing exactly what he's doing. And, you know, we got we to gotta keep our shit wide tight, as the Apostle Rukah say, man. You know, this is um, Zephaniah 1 and 12. It says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish them that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. All right? And, and and that's what Jake think, man. Lukewarm Jake. Jake who just walk off. And that's the Lord, though. Their spirit is being searched by the spirit and power. Yeah, how about shit me? How shot, man? And it tells you that. How, how, how the spirit is like that in the book of Proverbs, man. It's like a light. It searches the man's soul. Or oh, what's that song? The law is a lamp in the light. All right? But, but it searches you out, man. Okay? And the Lord is looking, man. The scriptures say the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. The scriptures say the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than men, seeing everything. The Lord is seeing everything, man. Hey, the Lord know who is predestined for these uh, judgments. He know who is predestined for this salvation, man. All right? A man is going to be saved according to his faith and his works, man. According to the book of 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, according to the book of James. That's why you got a lot of guys... That's falling out, man, because they ultimately they are, are the elect, but they're not doing the work, man. They don't want to do the work. The commandments of the Lord ha has been grievous to them. So the belt's getting tighter, all right, as we see the prophecies come to pass. All right, the Lord is trimming more and more fat as we see the prophecies come to pass. All right, and that's why we got to be on our P's and Q's, man. Y's and Z's. This is uh, Hebrews, the 10th chapter in the 26th verse. It says, for if we willfully sin that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there we there remain no more sacrifices for sins. And that's that's where it go, man. You you if you willfully sin, man, you drop the plow, you just stop teaching, you just completely go off. You know, me and a group of brothers was just actually talking about this, man. You know. If you willfully sin after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sins. The Lord ain't making no fucking atonement for you, man. Just like it says, and I think it's the sixth chapter, man. You crucify the Lord uh, uh, afresh. The Lord ain't dying, get coming back and dying. The Lord is coming back to rule, man. And, 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 and like he says in the book of Luke, those that were not that I reign over them, bring them high, then slay them before me, man. So if you drop the plow, man, Hey, you don't want your how about show me how a shot to return to this place. You you want to hey, go to Boston and start a new life. You know that's a, that's a, that's a soft rock song, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen, man. You're gonna walk out this truth and walk into the fucking sword, man. 
on the famine and the pestilence and everything y'all about shimmy I wish I got got stirred up man this ain't the time to be shaking it's the time to wake up man it's the time to tighten up man as we see the day approaching all right hey matter of fact 25 matter of fact I'm gonna start at 24 this is Hebrews 10 and 24 and let us consider one another to provoke to provoke in love provoke unto love and to good works and that's why we out here making these episodes, these videos, these electronic episodes. All right? Not forsaking the assembly together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. And that's what the brotherhood is for, man. Iron sharp as iron, man. A, a threefold cord is not easily broken. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remain no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful thing for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore or punishment suppose ye shall he be thought worthy who have trotted underfoot the son of Yahweh and have counted the blood of the covenant well, with he was sanctified an unholy thing, and have dis and have done despite unto the holy salaki and unto the spirit of grace. All right, so how much more, man? You ultimately dishing your house shy, man. You want his blood to be on you? You saying he wasn't worthy? You you this is it's all type of blasphemies that come with leaving the truth, man. It says, for we know for we know him that have said vengeance. Belonging to me, I will recompense, said Yahweh. <sighs> and again, Yahweh shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So just because you don't have a brotherhood hovering over you, you know, no more. Just because you're not, hey, the scriptures say, as, as, as you obeyed in my presence, how much more not my presence, so to speak, in, in the book of Philippians, man. You, you're supposed to do this for the rest of your life, man. We married to the game in this truth, man. And that's real, man. This is to death do us part, man. Yahweh Shai didn't retire, man. Moses didn't retire, man. King David didn't retire, man. Peter didn't retire. None of the men of the Lord retired, man. And walked off into the sun, man. Hey, niggas disobeyed the Lord and got their ass dropped. With no hope. That's crazy, man. But uh, in the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, we know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, like I said earlier, is trimming the fat. Jake, you know, they, they, they let life get to them, and these bugged out holes or whatever the hell it is, they extracurricular shit that they be doing when they could have been with the brotherhood building each other up. They let the kids of this world weigh them down, man. This is uh, 1 Timothy 10, Salaki, 1 Timothy 4 and 10. It says, 9, verse 9. It said, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all expectation. For therefore, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power who is the Savior of all men, especially those that believe. These things command and teach these things command and teach, man. The scriptures say, with much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of heaven. We both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power who is the savior of all men, man. So we're going to get the shit. We're going to go through the grind. But, hey, we count at the cost, man. It ain't no backing down. It ain't no pulling out. It ain't no dropping the plow. We were given this to either be destroyed or to be delivered. But we have a fighting chance, unlike... A, a big percentage of the nation of Israel, man. We ain't blind, man. We see the prophecies coming to pass. We see and know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to judge this place according to his word, man. And, and, and you brothers out there, you know what the words say, man. So it, it, it ain't it, it ain't no falling out, man. This is um. 
Proverbs 11 and 31. It said, Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed, meaning paid back. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, much more the wicked and the sinner. All right, so if the righteous is going to be paid back, how do you think that the Lord, and, and we getting our shit now, man, because the righteous is going to be delivered. That's not a contradiction. We're being recompensed. That's why Micah said what? I, I think that was Micah. Yeah, I will bear my indignation. Okay, so we dealing with our shit, all right, and this little shit, man, that's not even comparable to what we're going to get, all right, if we endure to the end according to his promises, man. So, and it is impossible for him to lie. So, it, it, it don't out, it, man, it don't even equate to falling out the truth, man. You niggas are crazy, man. Walking off into the fucking sun, man. Got a couple more, man. I might not even have a couple more, man. I'm so fucking... This is, um... God, this is 2 Peter 2 and, and, and 20. Fuck it. This is 2 Peter 2 and, and 18. It says, For when they speak great swelling words and vanity... Which allure you through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean that escaped from them who live in error. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruptions. Man, niggas lead us for the world, man. Knowing that the world, finding out the world is wicked, man. For whom, for whom a man is overcome, the same man is he brought into the other same man he is brought into bondage. In bondage. For after they had escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning, for it had been better for them to have not known the worry, the way of righteousness than after that have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them, unto them. But it has happened unto them, according to the true proverb, the dog was returned to his vomit again, and the soul was washed to her wallowing in the mire. So that's what happened, man. These niggas fell out, and they just dogs just returned to their vomit. And they're going to get destroyed, man. They're going to get destroyed, man. This is 1 Peter 4 and verse 18, man. Fuck, this is 1 Peter 4 and verse 17. For the time is come... That judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And that's why the Lord is severing these niggas from amongst us, man. These simple ass women that you probably thought was with you. Alright, these punk ass niggas that you thought was brothers, that was Akiyam, that's just walking off into the fucking sun. Yahweh Bashim, me, I was trying to trim in the fat. This is 1 Peter 4 and 16. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, or that, and that's a believer, you have to be a Hebrew Israelite to even be a true Christian. Let him suffer by blood, Salaki. Let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify Yahweh on this behalf. Because a lot of brothers are ashamed because of this truth, man. Because of how these fucking punks out here look at them. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And that's happening, man. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them be that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And if the righteous be scarcely saved, what shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Man, it's a whole lot of judgments the Lord got stored up, man. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit the keeping of their souls to him and well doing as unto a faithful creator. Call aloud me, Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh, shot, man. And we ain't letting up, man. Straight up, man. Endure. And for you fallouts, man, and you brothers who just want to walk off into the sun and think you're going to live a good life, man, fuck y'all, man. Salak, Ryan, Wad, Mashapatna. To all you fucking punk ass niggas, man. Call Halal, Yemi, Hawa, Bashim, Hawa, Shai, Bashim, Rukha, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. To the hopeful elect, Shalom.